I have a lot of questions oh, for you. Oh gosh. Okay, are you ready? Well, whatever it is, it's true. <laughs> Vince killed the business. Vince's business is doing very well. Exactly. It's guys that work underneath in TNA that's killing the business because they're working for free. I mean, God, if my daddy owned a wrestling company, God. God, you could be the, you could be the next you could be the next Dixie instead of the next Missy. Yeah, but I have a brain. Sorry. Um, <laughs> did I touch? <laughs> Fire's got a new wife. How old is she? Sure. Yeah, that really, you know, it really upsets me. I've known him for 25 years, and I haven't been one of his wives. Yeah. I'm very upset about that. Yeah, I'm just calling that right out right how now. How about that? Shit, I, maybe if my like hair keep growing up, it'd be, woo! <laughs> I wouldn't beat you up, Rick. For Christ's sake, let your wife beat you up, man. Oh, 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 oh. Nah. I didn't know what I was doing. Nah, started. Jake Roberts broke you, and you wouldn't green it all. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, oh, Tia, please. He wishes. <laughs> Uh, Dynamite was a bit different, yeah. It depended on, I mean, this, the poor guy had beaten himself to death, and Terry Funk and I were talking about it last weekend. He had beaten himself to death in Japan, his arms were shot, his shoulders were gone, his knees, his ankle, he blew his back completely out, he was in all this pain, and, and th just the pain it's, itself will make you angry. You, oh, I know what it could have been. Did Jason Hervey ever want like want you or anything and then you told him fuck off and then I have and then no since idea. He's up his ass then like then he fired you. I for have that? no idea. Okay. I don't know. I mean that's you like this know. that's like this other thing about this uh, Bubba the Love Sponge, you know oh, Bubba? God. We I mean Bubba, you and I have something in common now. We both been fired by Eric Bischoff. I've been fired by <laughs> Eric Bischoff. <laughs> Some things. What about Jeff Jarrett and New Jack using your guitar gimmick? Uh, you know, it never bothered me because that's what we do in this business. Look, Bill Dundee could come here and say, look, that son of a bitch, I was wearing a it was jumpsuit and I had black hair and sideburns long before that fucking Wayne Ferris ever did. So, yeah. <laughs> Everything's we, just taken and stuff. We all, I take it as a form of flattery. Right? We, we all take from each other. Yeah. TNA's bombing on Monday nights. I knew they were going to bomb on Monday night. They didn't have a product to compete with anyone on a Monday night. And that's after, what did they pull a the plug? Three weeks? Yeah. yeah. Three weeks they pulled a the plug. They, they, I think they knew going in they probably didn't have the guns. They didn't have no, the, they, they didn't have they, the ammo. She did, they did that whole press release down there at Planet, at somewhere in, the, in, in Manhattan. Who I don't, if they're in the rest of it, I don't want to mess with them. <laughs> I don't know. My thing was, I didn't want to have sex with Bret Hart. I didn't want to. I just wanted his 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 56 chromosome genetic code. I see Ric Flair and Hogan rolling around out there in their blood, and it makes me look back and say, Mark Lewin and King Curtis, 1980, two guys rolling around in their own blood. There's nothing left but for those two guys to roll around and bleed. That's it. That's all you're bringing to the Monday night show? Old news. What they did was they, 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 they had an opportunity to have new fans watch their product, and those fans immediately said, nah, I'm watching this junk. How does Vince Russo come in and change the wrestling business from a video store manager over in Long Island? I mean, <laughs> I ran, I I ran a video found, store. I think he found Jesus. I think so. That's what that helps. I didn't too. know he was lost, but I think that he said he found Jesus. So. Strip poker, and you got a Monday night audience, and this is what you're showing. And Hogan sits there and says, "Hey, wait a minute. I, I didn't write that segment. I, I didn't know. I didn't write it. What? I thought you were getting rid of all the writers. Come on." No, I think Jason Hervey's the one that's Idiot. that's running it now. Right. He's going through all the all Maybe this I, stuff. Obviously, they're running. Like they, they are running it right into the ground. Yeah. He, I think he's the one that does all the the. Um, he I, goes over all the TVs. I'm just saying. And tweaks the TVs. Pretty soon, Dixie scholarship's gonna run out, and Daddy's gonna pull the plug and say that's it. Can I honestly? I'll tell you what no I think. Money. I think she's a retard, and I think he has that big panda inter, that panda energy company, and he's like, okay, she's she's a dude to do. So we better just give her a company to let her play with, let her be a mark for herself, let her go to autograph shows and sign autographs like she's you know, a superstar, and let her have it because if we let her come and run the real company, then we're going to lose all of our money. So we're just going to give her this. And I'm still giving my daddy. You know, all I ever wanted to be was a gobbledygooker and get, and get well, tombstone. He, he, was, he was only there I can't for about even, 
Do he that. Was, he was there for five well, minutes. Abba, 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 I think it's really sad. I think it's even more sadder that because he saw an angle on TNA that he that he saw the, the gay Lander guy. Dewey. Yeah, I didn't even know the guy until I watched it the other night and I see him coming down from the ring. I'm like, that guy's a fag. And then and then and then I'm doing the, my chat and they're like, yeah, that's the guy that's like by trisexual or whatever. I'm like, he's he didn't even. I know my gay is working, so huh. I, I got it. But um, I just. I think it was bad that Chris did that. I think that there's just so many other options besides doing that to yourself because you're gone. Bubba said, Bubba means ratings. Well. Wasn't he going to get all of his Bubba people not to watch TNA? I guess. I guess that's what happened. I guess the ratings fell so fast that his people were the cause of more speedos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And it's like you want Except something for different. Except, Except for Jay Lethal. Except for Jay Lethal. Except for Machismo. Uh, yeah. That's the best gimmick. I love it. If it was a case of where it, they only had like five minutes in the match and Jim was to go over and he told Matt exactly how he wanted to do it and Matt thought he should have changed it and did something different, then you see the two people not cooperating in the ring. And I think that's what happened. You should never, ever get into any squabbles about this stupid business. Ever. Uh, I mean, you uh, or it's like it would be babies. Be I'm not going to put you over. I'm not going to put you over. I'm not going to do the job. Because I'm a baby. I hate to say, Jim, but you got a little bit of sour grapes going there, son. You can't believe now that, that you're, you're not around anymore, that this really happened to you? After all the people that you stabbed in the back while you were there? Come on, Jim. You know What happened? Because yeah. you go to pin them, and they're hunchback, and you couldn't get a pin on them because they'd roll. That's a good idea. <laughs> I should have used that. Maybe I wouldn't have lost so many matches. <laughs> Do the roll. Do the hunchback. Bring in the big black man from Uganda. And Kamala would be in the background going, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I mean, really entertaining stuff is what I always liked. I didn't, I didn't particularly care about some guy that might be more athletic than the other guy because sometimes the, the people that made the most money at one time in this business, like Tommy Rich, he didn't. Tommy, close to the gym he ever came, was the gym band. But he did look good. <laughs> he did look good in 1980, 81. Tommy, he was Rick Flair, just he's, he's all, Terry Funk said the other night, he just stands there and he's purple and he's screaming. At the top of his lungs, I think he's gonna blow a gasket or something. And I'm terrified. I should have been named Junior. And I, I, I said, "Who? Who are you talking about?" He said, "That Ric Flair. Have you seen him? He's spitting and he's 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 all purple." I said, "Oh, you mean Leslie Nielsen?" 